Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick and easy video showing you how to curl your hair with a curling iron and get these beautiful beachy waves. So let's go ahead and get into it. So today I'm using the Baby Bliss Pro 1 inch iron. I love this iron. It's the only iron I actually have. Um, I love that it has adjustable heat settings and it is ceramic. So I'm also going in with some Chi uh, heat spray. And then I'm just going to brush it out to distribute it more. Feel free to section off your hair like I am doing here. I'm just tying it with a scrunchie. So you want to take about an inch of hair, maybe a little bit less, and start in the middle. And then you're just going to clamp your wand onto it and then roll it all the way up to the top of your head. And then you're going to hold it, hold it until it feels warm. And then you're going to take your curling iron and go all the way down but leave about an inch or so of hair out. And then you're going to roll it back up to the top of your head and hold it. And then here's the part that you need to pay attention to. <laughs> so once it feels warm, then you're just going to take off a section like that. So pull down and then roll up. So I'll show you again. So you want to pull down and then roll up. And you do this all the way down. So pull down, roll up, pull down, roll up, pull down, roll up, and then Again, pull down, roll up, and then straighten the bottom piece. So it should look just like a big twist like this. So we are going to do that exact same repetition again. So again, start in the middle of your hair shaft, clamp it, and then roll all the way up. Hold it until it is warm. And then you're going to take it back down, leave a little bit of hair out, and then roll all the way up and then just hold it until it's warm. And then you're gonna take your curling iron and you're just going to pull it down, taking off a section of hair, rolling it up. Pulling it down, taking off a section of hair, rolling it up. Pulling it down, rolling it up. Pulling it down, rolling it up. Pulling it down, rolling it up. And then pulling it down, rolling it up one more time and then straightening the bottom. So it just looks like a really small, tight twist and that is exactly what we want. So for every two pieces that I twist and curl, I will also do two curls this way. So I just open up my curling iron and wrap pieces around it going away from my face. And I do this just so I have like different types of curls and it just gives your hair a really unique beachy look. So. Usually I like to do like my front pieces with this method that you're looking at right here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just do two and two throughout my whole head. So I'm just going to go back to the twisting part where I roll up and then roll down and then pull the hair down, twist it up, pull the hair down, twist it up. And you just want to keep doing that throughout the rest of your section of hair. So here's what one side looks like. I'm just going to finish the other side real quick. And then here's what both sides look like. So now we're going to do the top and you can see here I'm taking the front pieces and I'm just wrapping them around the wand. So I'm going to do two sections in the front, wrapping them around the wand on both sides of my head. Just because I like that kind of looser curl on the front, I don't want it to be super tight. So I kind of like to alternate those two curls throughout my head just to give it a different type of look. So here's what one side looks like. Now we're going to finish up the other. So then this is what both of your sides of hair should look like. So now we are just going to take our fingers. Actually, we're going to take some texture spray. Totally optional. I just always take texture spray on my curls. And you're going to use your fingers. Or I'm going to also show you what it looks like when you brush it out. Um, but I like to do both, so I just take my fingers and just kind of go through the curls, separating them. Sometimes I'll pull them apart if they're sticking together. Um, but yeah, always make sure you separate your curls. So 
So this is what it looks like um, from the front. And then you can see one curl is just kind of stuck. So I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of pull it apart. Uh, and then I thought I'd show you what the back looks like. So here is the back of my head, just showing you what the curls look like if your hair is like all in the back, you know? So that's what my curls look like when I just use my fingers. And here's what my curls look like when I just kind of lightly brush through them. So there is a little bit of a difference. I think it just kind of makes your hair look a little bit more full in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I love both ways. So that is pretty much the video. It's super easy. I love curling my hair this way. This is honestly how I do it every single time I curl my hair, which isn't very often anymore. But when I do take the time to get ready, that's what I do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.